This is question number 41 from the Pre-Cal book, and we've got this bacteria colony that uh, doubles every half hour. And uh, reading this question, I assumed this was a PERT question, um, and when I took a look at the book's answer, they're looking at this as though you just have the bacteria and then poof, a half an hour goes by and a new one appears. Not that one is like slowly forming over the course of a half an hour. So if you did it as a PERT problem, I'm not really gonna make a big deal about that because that's also how I read it. Uh, but they want you just to know that it doubles every, every half hour, okay? So basically you've got some number of bacteria and the number of bacteria is just continuously being multiplied by two. So if it was every hour, it would be the number of bacteria are being multiplied by two to the T. However, it's every half hour. So you're multiplying by two twice per hour. Uh, so it's two to the, the two T power. And uh, do they ask for an equation here? Let's see. Um, write an equation that determines the number of bacteria present after t hours. So we could say something like b of t is equal to b sub zero times two to the two t. Okay. Uh, part b suppose a petri dish a petri dish contains thirty bacteria. Use the equation to determine the number of bacteria present five hours later. So starting at thirty, uh, we're multiplying by two every half hour. So if five hours go by, two times five is going to be ten. It's going to go through 10 doublings, and so uh, you can drop that in the calculator, and 30 times 2 to the 10th power is going to be approximately 30,720. Actually, not approximately, exactly. Um, and then part C, what assumptions were made using the formula in part A? Um, basically, that the conditions stay the same and that they continue to reproduce at the same pace, and there's not like a carrying capacity and that kind of thing. So just some kind of common sensey types of things in that one. So that's all that's going on in number 41.